Hey, me and Matt here. So, I watched Raw this week. I watched SmackDown. And I gotta say, you know, I did a lot of... Uh, I did a review. Uh, yeah, what is it? Whatever. I did a review a couple days ago about um, the Royal Rumble, about this year that's coming up, uh, this year that I want to see some better things for uh, SmackDown. And this week, yeah, it's kind of shaping up to see what's going to happen. Like Goldberg came back, obviously, and there was a lot of. Uh, chat between him and the new segment on Raw, the Kevin Owens show, with Chris Jericho, obviously. And, you know, I thought about how it would be interesting to see. I know I said that uh, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho would make a good match. Um, then I started thinking, you know, if Goldberg is going in for the title then who knows, maybe it'll be Goldberg versus Kevin Owens at WrestleMania, who knows. Kind of interesting to see, though, that you have a guy like Roman Reigns, who is the guy that will eventually challenge or go up against Braun Strowman. It's because Braun Strowman came out and attacked Roman Reigns, to me, that's pretty cool, and, and it would be a match to see, you know. So, now if they have Kevin Owens and Goldberg, I don't think it would hurt to see Goldberg, Kevin Owens, and Chris Jericho. A triple threat match for the uh, WWE Raw Championship. That would be pretty cool. It has happened before, a uh, triple threat match for the title. Um, then, you know, I watched SmackDown yesterday, and again, still the flagship show, in my opinion. I'm hoping that this year, Raw steps up its game. Who knows, it could happen. Uh, this whole thing with uh, Luchadora and Becky Lynch, so, they had a match, the Luchador went under the ring, and another one came out. Now, I knew that there was some, there would be some kind of issue, um, because this Luchador was a lot smaller, and it turned out to be Alexa Bliss. So, an interesting chain of events there. Having the Luchadora, I think, go over Becky Lynch. So, a lot of people have been saying, well, it could be Tamina Snuka. It could be Naomi. The only problem with that, though, is that this person is white. You could see under the gloves and the eye thingies under the mask that this person's white, so it can't be Naomi. So there it is. Um, I also watched the new show, uh, the one with JBL and Paul Heyman and Pete Rosenberg. I might have mentioned that earlier. Uh, yesterday, you know, there was a lot of talk though with JBL when he mentioned something about Bret Hart. Of course, Bret Hart's in the news again, running his mouth. I didn't know. It's kind of embarrassing because I I'm obviously grew up a Bret Hart fan. Minus WCW. Um, that's the reason why pink is one of my favorite colors. Um, but he's running his mouth again, saying that Michael Hayes is, should not be that should never have been inducted into the Hall of Fame. He's had a lot of issues with Seth Rollins. He's had a lot of issues with uh, a bunch of other people. Triple H being one of them. 
you know, it's Bret Hart, whatever. You know, he people take things a lot seriously now. And they should not they shouldn't really do that. Because hey, it's Bret Hart. It's 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 an opinion. It's a and it's a, someone's opinion and people like to take things a lot seriously. Much more seriously than they actually should be. Um in another note, there was a, another story. I think it was on Raw. Uh, a fan got kicked out because he was dressed like Hulk Hogan. At least that's the rumor that I heard. Um, yeah, very much interesting to see that. You know, and it's funny too. Uh, Michael Richards makes a racist rant, gets shunned for a while, and then has his own TV show, and then leaves. Paula Dean, same thing. She has a racist rant, then she apologizes, like Michael Richards, apologizes, gets her own internet show, it gets, gets another show, I guess. Hulk Hogan makes a racist rant that wasn't really meant for anyone to listen to and gets banned from the WWE. What the fuck? Hulk Hogan, whether you like it or not, and I'm not a huge fan, actually I'm not a fan at all, whether you like it or not, is a part of the WWE. Was a champion. When you say wrestling, when you say pro wrestling, you automatically think about Hulk Hogan as a lot of shit he did back in the day. He is still part of the wrestling world. And for Vince McMahon to ban him from the WWE, ban his merchandise, ban a lot of the historical facts for Hulk Hogan to me is absolute bullshit. Um, Chris Benoit I understand completely but Hulk Hogan you know he said it he was drunk that doesn't excuse anything but to do something that extreme to prove, I don't know if you're proving that you're not a racist, even though when you get these black men dressed up uh, and acting all silly, like the New Day, like Titus O'Neil, it doesn't make sense to me, you know, but it is what it is. You know, it's just something that you did you did it and that's you know that's but that's the way it is I guess I guess um yeah that's really it that's really about it like I said before Kurt Angle is apparently coming to WWE at the Royal Rumble there's rumors that they want Matt Hardy I don't know if they want both Hardys, but it's for sure that Matt Hardy is coming to the WWE with his broken Matt Hardy um, gimmick. I don't know if that's true or not, but we'll see. I still don't know. I mean, if it's true, then I'm hoping that it's only for the Royal Rumble. But uh, who knows? Um... Anyways, it's about it. I can't think of anything else to talk about right now, except for WWE. Um, not about to start to 2017, though. Um, yeah, well, that's about it. So, talk to you later. Bye.